Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. And once again, I left the game, so I have to get some more one-ups from Peach. Which is useful, I guess, but I wish I could keep my one-ups when I left the game. Oh well. They're not really that important. But anyway, let's head back to the kitchen now, because we have some more stuff to do there. Okay. Can I skip over that one up for now? Oh, get up there, please. Thank you. Okay, we've already done a little bit of this world, so let's see what else is remaining. So, Beach Ball and Ghost of the Galaxy have some more stars in them. So I might actually do that, like, one of each now. Before moving on. Passing the swim test. Give me bits. Give me the bits. Okay. Do you have something to tell me? Now, taking applications for the Beach Bowl Swim School's final swim test. Sign up for the swim test, I guess. Okay. You here to take the swimming school's final swim test? Yes, I am. This test is all about underwater shell collecting. Bring me back the gold shell, and it's an automatic A grade for you. Okay, well... There's only one... gold shell. And I believe, if I can f see it, somewhere, maybe, it's currently occupied by this, by this penguin, but I guess spinning gives it to me, so, um, yeah, that was it. That was the entire swim test. Amazing, I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. Well then, here's a big gold medal for you. That was the entire star. That was the entire thing. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? Ah, uh, no more questions. Also, we, this is actually a normal shell, which we can send flying away forever, I guess. Oh, it stopped. No, it's, it's, it's gone. Okay, then. Let's grab the star that we took two seconds to get. Yeah, I don't think we've had much of a look at Beach Ball Galaxy, but if the stars are that long, I don't think we are gonna gonna get much more of a look. I think I know what the next star is in that level, and it's not even very Beach Ball-esque. So let's go to Ghost of the Galaxy for now. A very spooky sprint. I'm surprised by how short some of these stars are, but I really shouldn't. Like, there have, there have been short ones in... short and easy ones in Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine, but... I would have expected a little bit more than... The, those ones. In fact, the, the, the ones in Super Mario 64 are, I would say, especially easy. Since I'm... have a lot of experience with that game. But anyway, let's go way over this way. Right over to where we need to be for the star. Again, not that hard to do, apparently. And let me just quickly get a few star bits while I'm here, since we're going to need more. Even though I've been doing fairly well on star bits. Yikes, this looks scary. It's a g g ghost. But anyway, let's have a look at this. <laughs> so you're after it too. Well, you have to race me for it. Sure. 
Hehehe. <laughs> Here we go. So, this is literally just a race to the final planet for a star. So we need to use these pool stars, oh please, to get there quickly. But that's a little bit tricky, just a little bit, especially when we bump into things. So we need to be a little bit careful. Oh please grab, please grab, thank you. We also need to make sure we don't accidentally die. Oh please, get through there. Thank you, and I believe if we go over to this sling star, it actually takes us a fair way forward, so let's um, let's grab that quickly before we die. And if we can get a little bit closer to the end, please. Oh, we need to be careful in this last place as well, because if we, f if we um, let go, we don't just die, we actually just go back a little bit. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Oh, please, please, please grab, grab, grab. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised I was able to grab that sling star without falling back to the planet below. But anyway, we've made it faster than he could. Hmm, a minute and six seconds. Huh? Well, I promised, so take this star. That's actually fairly difficult to do, so I'm surprised I did it in one go. But anyway, that's everything to do here. So let's grab this star, and I guess we can go to the next Bowser level then. New chapter has been added to the storybook. We still have to look at that at some point as well, I guess. Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. Sinking the Airships. But here's the question, are they airships or are they spaceships? And how do they sink in space? Because in space there is no down. And usually when you think of sinking, you think it goes down. Ow. But anyway, we don't need to fight these enemies, but you know. We can if we want. What we need, do need to do though, is get into this little hole here. And now, we have... A thing to shoot out of, which uh, is a cannon, obviously. Uh, but we need to aim with the cursor and then press A to fire. We could grab the pole, or we could grab this uh, pool star to make sure we don't fly off into space. And I just dodge these enemies if I can. Also, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that the Kamex or always drop a coin. Okay, let's shoot ourselves off into space again. Um, guess it doesn't matter where I shoot. There we go. Now, hello, Captain Toad. Mario, you finally made it. I was starting to worry. You're finally here. Oh, man. Also, we have this Luma here. Luma Lee. Luma, Luma Bop. Welcome to the Luma Shop. I can sell you something helpful for only 30 star bits. Well, I don't have 30 star bits, but the way you work is very interesting. Well, just stop by again later. Okay. Let me get rid of these. Um, what they're called? Wrigglers. And can I get a little bit more star bits? Is that enough? It is enough. Okay. So, if we go over to this Luma shop. Also, there's also this thing here that I could spin on for star bits as well. If we go to the Luma shop and want to buy something, please. Let's buy. So, we got the option of a 1-up or a life shroom. My recommendation would be always grab the life shroom because... Uh, something, there's, there's something else that happens when you have 
multiple life rooms. All right, now fill me up with exact change. We don't have to aim and shoot. It just does it automatically. Oh, so full. Now I'm feeling great. So here I go. Transform! Oh, so he becomes the mushroom. Cool, good. Anyway, let's take this enemy out. Just so I can. And let's flip the switch. Now we can't exactly do the thing I was wanting to do with the life up or you know, the life shroom. So let's just try to... Ow, oh, survive for now. Just survive. Just survive, please. That's a good start. Okay. I don't actually know if I can do what I was trying to do, though. Oh, well. But anyway, if you get two life shrooms... Hang on, I accidentally did this. <laughs> you just don't give up. Fine, then. I guess I'll... Just whoop you myself. You want this grand star so bad? You're gonna have to take it from me. So if you get a life shroom when you've already got a life shroom, it gives you a one-up instead, basically. So that's an interesting thing, I guess. So if you don't want to get a one-up instead of a life shroom, if you want to actually get maximum extra health, you probably... Oh... Bullet Bill. You probably want to um, not grab that quickly. Or you have another. Oh my goodness. When you have another life stream already. Wait till you take a little bit more damage before taking it. But anyway, the life stream is also very useful for bosses because you have more health. Okay. Let's just dodge everything and try to shoot Bowser Jr. with shells. Except now he's got more attacks. Except he's not really... Oh, there's the bullet bills. I was, I was wondering where they were, they were the last five seconds. I'm gonna grab some coins so I don't accidentally lose my life up shroom that I paid for. Okay. Shooting diagonally is actually pretty good during this fight since... He's a lot, a lot easier to hit diagonally. Oh my goodness, please let me take you out. Thank you. Oh, please. Okay, that hit. There we go. And there's also a lot of places on this ship where you can get life like coins from if you can get the bullet bills up here or possibly the shells maybe you can break this glass open and get that one up in those coins but otherwise you can shoot these things for coins which we've already mentioned but just want to point out that they are there And now we've unlocked the bedroom. Thanks to you and your friends, all of the domes on the lower level are working again. Once the engine room on the upper level has power, the whole observatory will be working. Then the Comet Observatory will fly as a starship once again. And you'll be able to fly to your special one in the center of the universe. Okay. Before we go to the a dome, I just want to quickly go down this way. Because if you go all the way to this platform out here, you can actually get a like a big view of the whole uh, Comet Observatory. And if you can get onto this small edge of this thing without falling off, 
You can get a little bit further out so you don't have the text bubbles on screen. And there's like a frame, maybe, where the star bits aren't on the screen. If you jump, you get rid of the stuff on the four corners, but you don't, the star bits don't go away. I'm pretty sure, unless the cursor's not there, maybe. But getting the cursor to not be there is a little bit tricky. No, it's just going to be there. Anyway, just wanted to show that off because that's cool. So for now, there's also one up on that platform down there if you go down there. And also, if you fall off the Comet Observatory, you just get put back onto the last platform that isn't moving that you're on. But anyway, let's go to the new... Uh, what's it called? Dome. The, this is the bedroom. Okay. Now let's see what we've unlocked since we've already unlocked the first three galaxies. Okay, we have... Gusty Garden Galaxy. Very good. Freeze Flame Galaxy. And... Dusty Dune Galaxy. Fairly large levels. So, let's get started. Bunnies in the Wind. With Floaty Fluff, you can sh spin to fly higher, but only up to three times. Boing oing. Also, this song is amazing. Please listen to it. Just look it up. It's good. Du du what, what's it called? Gusty Garden Galaxy. If you want to get down during the ride, press B. Boing oing. Okay. Well, let's quickly look around here because there's a few things here. Few crystals with star bits and also some enemies. Ow. And also these this ring here. Let's grab that. I know star bits aren't that useful to us at the moment, but they will be later on. And it's kind of worth going out of your way for them. Although there will come a point when they aren't that useful anymore. But if you get 50 out of, um, if you get 50, I mean, you get, also get, uh, a one-up, so. But you also have to get them all in a level. So, let me take out these piranha plants, if I can, without accidentally walking into them. Let's check out the other side as well. Okay, interesting. This enemy here, if we get too close to him, goes into his hole. But, if he comes out and then we ground, pound... Maybe. He gets pulled out and we can spin him. Or we'll jump on him, I guess. If I can accidentally... If I can actually ground pound properly. There we go. Also, I like how the planet over there looks like a question mark. Just wanted to say that. Let's what's in this pipe, because this looks like something. Oh, lots of star bits. Very good. I already got a hundred star bits from just walking around on the first two planets. Okay. Let's try these things again. You have to spin to get them out of the ground. We also have to make sure that we stay inside of the wind flow so we keep going in the right direction. And we can spin to go higher, but we can only do it so many times before we run out of fluff. So I can't do it jump anymore. But if we do press the regular jump button instead of spin, we can also land on the ground properly. Also, I'm just on the tip of that vine the whole way, which makes it go by a lot faster. There's a lot of vines on this planet to see and use. Okay. If you get lost, try going to the other side of the planet. Oh my goodness. I, I mean, yes, that's correct, but also... 
there's just so much stuff to find on every side of the planet, basically. I mean, that's cool, but also, oh, he throws projectiles. But also, means there's a lot more to find. Can you get out of the ground, please? There's also money bags here with star bits for me. There we go. I might actually leave these mole enemies here because they're not really doing that much. And it seems to be difficult to actually ground pound in a spot to get them. Okay, spin and jump. Here we go. See if I can grab all of this. I pressed the wrong button to spin. B, B in midair is bad for you. When you're trying to fly in a, in a direction. Let me try that again, making sure to press the Y button to spin, and not the B button to spin. Anyway, let's jump off here because this is where we need to be. Let's take out these Primal Plants because one of them should have a vine for us. There we go. On the other side of this planet, we have this enemy, which we can take out fairly quickly. We also have this little sprout here, but that's about everything. So let's keep going. Can I get... No. Also, I believe this is how you're supposed to be able to figure out how to take out these moles, because there's that block there that you have to destroy. Or that you can destroy. Oh, hello. An extra sprout. It's going to take us to another planet. Okay. Coin. And I'm guessing this Prime Plant's going to give me a sprout. There's also that planet over there that I believe we're supposed to have gone to already by going a different way, but that's okay. We jump on that. Can't spin to destroy it. But there we go. Let's keep moving and go to another planet with this launch star. I don't know how I got those star bits just now. Oh well. Also 256 star bits. Pog. Programmer prop Pog. You think you can catch me, boing oing? So, just like on the first planet we ever went to, we have to catch a bunny, but you can go through the hedge. And can go fairly quickly. So we need to really just run for a while. Try to cut it off. If we can. Go through... Oh my goodness. One up there, but I don't want that right now. I'm trying to catch a rabbit bunny thing. That's going really quickly. It's so difficult to actually just keep up with it. Unfortunately. Especially when you lose all your momentum. There we go. Okay, okay, you got me. Here, take this, boing oing. Take this star. Sometimes they say, don't actually say the word for what they're giving you. Don't expect to catch me so easily next time. Sometimes they just have the icon for what they're saying. New galaxy. Oh, in the kitchen. Right, we, we didn't get that one yet, did we? I might go back for that, but right now, I want to go back into Gusty Garden Galaxy because it's a great level. The Dirty Tricks of a Major Burrows. Okay, well, let's go, and hopefully not press the wrong button to spin. Grab this coin, and then grab that coin. Okay, let's see what these star bunnies have to say. Those moles are digging up our garden, it's just terrible. Like paper. But you'll get hurt if you touch the moles, try pounding the ground near them, boing oing. 
With Floaty Fluff, you can ride the wind, boyoing. Just spin. When it rumbles, to fly really hot. To, to really high. To really- Ah! To really fly. Words- Words are hard. Okay. Let's go. Let's see if I can keep collecting this coin, which is moving further and further away. And there we go. We get all those coins, and we get all these star bits. Oh, I'm- I'm too low down. I'm too low down. Please be enough. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Gravity, thank you for saving me. <laughs> anyway, if we take out that mole, we get a Sling Star, I believe. Yeah, so let's sling ourselves up here. And this is a little bit more complicated. It's the, uh, the question mark type planet, and also the planet we were just on was the dot of the question mark, I believe. If I could see it in 3D space. Anyway, let's take out these moles that are going around. They have helmets, so you can't jump on them. You can jump on the dirt that they move around as well. Oh, where'd he go? Over there. There we go. Get rid of you. Just gonna jump on his dirt. Which bounces us up a little bit. And I think I killed them all, so it must be one of these uh, blocks that I need to destroy. Okay, and this one. Oh, there is another mole. Hang on. There is another mole. Also, they can only have so much trail behind them. Oh, where'd he go? He's going so fast. He's going so fast. I think they also go different paths all the time, which just makes it a little bit harder to keep up with them. Go. Thank you. There we go. So it was taking out the moles that we needed to do. Now let's get to that launch star. By changing gravity, which is cool. Let's go. Oh, I don't know. I probably could have pulled myself with those pull stars. Oh well, we're over here now. So let's keep moving. Let's ground pound this. To get this caterpillar worm thing going through these apples. Or apple-like planets. Not all of these um, stumps that you can ground pound make the caterpillar move. I'm pretty sure some of them are actually star bits, but we can walk along this caterpillar, which is cool, to get where we need to go. Okay, that was the wrong one. Okay, I'm back. Um, something just fell down and smashed in the other room. Randomly with no identifiable reason as to why. Now let me see if I can figure out which thing I need to ground pound. Probably the one that I haven't ground pounded yet. Actually no, it's probably the one over there, isn't it? Yeah. Because the last place the caterpillar needs to go... ...is up to the launch star. Let's head on up there, if I can, please. Thank you, and let's go. Also, there's the happy caterpillar thing. Is it a caterpillar? I think it is. It looks like a caterpillar, but it's kind of worm-like. I don't know. Oh, hey, life up shroom. Let me grab that, please. Bounces off of walls, so that's good. That's probably everything I need from here, so let's go. Ah, I'm gonna get eaten, I think. Yes, that's what he's saying. Anyway, when this mole's out of the ground, let's ground pound and spin. Okay, here we go. Time to fight this thing. It's not chasing the rabbit anymore, it's now chasing us. Same rules as before, when it's out of the ground, ground pound. And spin into it. Okay, it's angry now, so it's gonna go faster. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to walk right into you. Okay, knocking back, but it's still out. Have to ground pound twice. Please, let me spin you. Ow. Okay. 
Okay, let me see if I can get a better angle on this. Go, 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 and spin. There we go, and the bunny, the star bunny is just on the bit of the tree. Also, how does a platform like that appear on a tree? Like, is a branch going up, like, next to the, the trunk? I don't know. Thanks, you saved me, boing boing. Boing boing boing. I like the star bunnies. But anyway. I'm back at the com observatory. And I don't think there's anything new for us. Maybe. So that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.